Hello everybody, and welcome to this Train Soon World 2 video. Today I'm going to do something slightly different to what I usually do. I'm going to show you how I make the Northern Rail livery. Um, this time I'm actually showing you, I'm going to, I'm going to, put, I'm going to put it on the, 314, on, on the 314 due to the fact that we still don't have the 150 yet. Because obviously the Coral local route got delayed. So. So that's what I do first. I first make the name of it, and then I go to edit. And now this is the next part. Now I'm not really going to talk much during the video. For simple bit, for basically, there's no point me talking through the video while I'm doing the livery. So what I'm doing is I'm going to turn my microphone off, and then I will come back to you once I've done it. So actually, no. Wait a minute. I'll keep my microphone on. So yeah, basically, what we do, what I do at first is obviously I've already done a lot of Northern Rail livery, so basically I take pictures, I've got pictures of the colours that I used. I also use um, Google Images to find images of the train. So the first thing first, what I am going to do is I'm going to paint the front of the train. Uh, there we go. Let's come back. So yes, first we get a layer, add a new layer shape and I will use a square for the front of the train and I will use the yellow color so I think it's this color so confirm change color so hue is 53 s is 100 and v is 62 Actually, I think that yellow is a little bit too dark for the front. But I'll just click confirm and then I'll change the colour. So now I, I know I've got a different yellow. I've got a much brighter one. And I've got one. Wait a minute. I've got another one that's at 44. Then I have another one which is more of an orange colour. 42 yeah so that yellow I have there that is the correct yellow and then what I do is obviously I then uh, scale it to the to the train just get it to the front of the train I know I'm gonna go over lap the the top part of the train but that can be all this can be rectified later on when I uh, let me just do, 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 do. I still want to go too far. So yes, this issue here that's on the top that can be rectified later on when I actually do put the the roof bit on the on the train. But that's the front part of the train done. So the next part we're moving on to is I'll be doing the northern rail. Um, shape at the side. So I've got here to shape. I then get this, put it on the left hand side. And so I make the curve, click confirm, change colour. And that's why I now need I now need the purple colour for the northern whale, which is H is two six three. We go here. The page is 263, S is 96, and V is 36. Let's go back up to 36, and then S is 96. We'll go down a little bit more. There we go, but that'll do. And then go to options. Projection settings, project it all the way over to the other side and then I'll then move it down the train. With the 313 having similar characteristics to the actual 150, this is going to be the closest I can get to having a 150 in the game currently because obviously with the 150 being delayed we currently haven't got it at the moment. 
So yes, that's the curve. I need to make it curve a little bit better. I'll then go back to then moving it here to there. So then you've got like the nice curvature of it. Press E to place. I then get a that shape. Confirm. Change color. Now when it comes to the logo, uh, I have a mod that gives me the um, old Northern Rail logo. So what do I won't need to make that, make that actual logo. So if you're on PC, you can either just download these liveries or make them yourself. If you're on console, then unfortunately you're going to have to make the Northern Rail logo yourself. Due to obvious, you won't have the logo mod pack, the logo mod. Get that just right. Move it slightly. And then I don't know how far that's overlapping at the front. Ah, jeez. That's going to have to do. And then pull that up. There, I'd say once I do the roof part of the train, won't need to worry too much about any of it overlapping. I'm just try to right so I'm gonna leave that there. Let's press T again. I completely forgot. What I might have to do is I might have to put yellow over that. Yes, which actually I'll do that. I'll put yellow over that. Projection settings, project it all the way over to the other side. Confirm E place. Right, with this, I'm probably going to have to move this down to there. Well, then that brings its own issues as well. So, hmm. Actually. I do have a solution for that. Which I will show you shortly. Yeah, there will, there will be a solution for that. I can um, just put something else over that. In a second, I'm actually going to do the roof section of the, of the carriage. There we go. Options. Project it onto the side. Confirm. E place. Right layers. Right, I need to copy that layer. Then move it down to above there. And move. Edit it. And boosh. Problem solved. And it should be the same on the other side. Yep. Problem solved. Just put it straight over the top of it like that. Right. E place. Now I need to do the roof. So we'll get another shape. Top. Confirm. Now this is where I need to get like. So obviously Northern Rail, they have more like a um, weird tinge to theirs. They're more. It's more like a bluey grey colour. So, I know I put it on one of my trains, so I'll just click confirm, place it there for a second. I need to click save. So I need to go back a second to find the one I did on the on the 101. Class 101, Northern Rail 101, edit. Oh no, sorry, it wasn't on that one. I think it was on the um, old Northern Rail. Yes, there you go. See Northern Rail, they have um, the more of the bluey colour on the top. Which is that colour. So it's 199. I just need to take a picture of this just for just for reference. There we go. I've now got my reference for the roof section. Don't save changes. Oh, 
Chief, Chief, Chief. No, don't run on my keyboard, mate. Go back to CC L314. Go to layers, go to um, edit our top shape. So, change color H is 199. Chief, Chief, come on, mate, come on. Not on the desk, please. Goodbye. I have a hyperactive kitten. Um, he keeps running around here, there, and everywhere. Right, so S is 19. So to go all the way over here. So S is 19. And V is 51. There you go. Right, and then T. Because this is how I do it, I, I use the find selection tool. Obviously, you need to get that to there, like so. And obviously, again, we have the same problem where it's clashing through there. Which, obviously, I will just rectify that shortly. I'm not going to pull it all the way through to there, I'm going to leave it there. Obviously I need to fix that um, issue there. That's because we've got a slight issue, there's a bit of white there, which I can I can fix that anyway, that's not really a problem. And then place it on the roof, just need to bring that down to there, and move, and bam, shabam. Actually, in theory, I could bring that down further because I wanted to then just move the yellow again. As you can see now, oop, God, press the wrong button there. It's already starting to look like a Northern Rail train. If I can bring it to there, but then it's all in line there. Then obviously place it down and also just bring the yellow down and move. Oh, then that caused its own problems. It's okay, I can just do a new shape. Actually, I'll do a new shape underneath the grey. Shape, front, confirm, change colour, move it up to there, and then obviously just resize it slightly that's not causing no problems on that side e place done and dusted only thing i need to sort out now is that bit coming through delivery there which again that's going to present its own problems if i do that so again to rectify this i'm just going to copy this shape and then I'm just going to slightly move it forward just so it's just over there we go place that there bring the orange down again and move options uh, not T sorry there we go, that's now placed down. So there we go, that's the front section of the train partially done. Now what I need to do now is obviously this yellow across the bottom, which I don't know whether that is down to the yellow. Yes it is, right. So, what I need to do now is if I go to this shape here, I need to get another shape left hand side confirm now that's over the top of the yellow bit there obviously this bottom bit here is going to be white so you're not really going to 
see it that much. But also I need to get rid of the, the yellow on the bottom. This is by far the most, most time consuming part um, doing the first initial carriage because once I've done this first carriage it's literally plain sailing from there. UV, the UV on this isn't all that good. So you have to click after the like a little yellow bit hanging there. Plus, and then what we'll do is I'm gonna copy this and then I'm just gonna move it down to there. There we go. What I need to then is I just need to get that shape we just had. I need to actually need to find which one it was now, I can't remember which one it was. Um, P options, projection settings. It was one of these, I know that. Um, edit. And that then projects that over onto the other side of the train. Again, we're presented with another issue here. Let me place that there, I think. Oh, God. I'll sort that out in a short second. It's just because I've projected it over onto the other side. So I need to find it. It's that one there. Um, just need to move. And move. Just need to just bring that one down to there and move. Nope, that's caused issues as well. And move. I need to try and find which one it was I put at the bottom. That is not rectifying the issue. So I'm going to do again is go back to the front, confirm, and add yet another yellow square to there and place it down. There we go. I just need to move that one to there and move. What the fuck is going on here? I'm going to have to get another yellow bit. Stay on the floor, please, Chief. Shit, that went a bit wrong there. That should not cause an issue. There we go. Bang. Screenshot. Done. Chief, if you keep getting on the desk, mate, I'm going to have to put you in the kitchen. Right, now for the tricky part. Actually, no, um, that can be solved easy. So now I another square, left hand side, confirm, change colour, make it purple. Now just move this to here. Across the doors. Projection settings to reject it over onto the other side. Confirm T is where do this. Move 
obviously I'm not going to get this perfect due to the way it is done. Place that there. There we go, that's that placed there. Now she needs to rectify this bottom bit here. Which can probably be done with a white shape. I just need to put it, just that it needs to go on top. It's going between, so let's just go for a shape. Obviously, well, I will change the colour short because I'm not really want to do um, full, full white colour. I should actually find my white colour. Mine's more of a dirty white. A place right. And move, edit. You just need to project it onto the other side. Confirm. Just need to make sure it covers the length. Then move it up as well. Obviously, I only want this bit to cover over the the white there, over the orange there. Place that. Paint. Actually, then again, I don't know whether to keep the default white or not. Right, and now I should have that saved now. That's a colour. Um, edit, change colour. Yeah, I thought I think the default white colour actually works better so I'm going to keep the default white colour um, yeah so there we go that is that first carriage done what we'll do now is obviously I need to place that down there what I'm do now is I go for logo and I look for the northern rail logo which is here because the northern rail logo goes up on the left side here but then we make it edit. I didn't want to do do that one. Then make it bigger. There we go. Then we just place that there. And then with that, I copy, edit, pre options, change side, right hand side, confirm. There we go. So it's now the same on both sides of the train. That's just the other logo. Now, for when I do the circles, which I'm going to do now, I go shape, get a circle, um, put that back on the left hand side. The left hand side is a bit more brighter. I do the big circle first. Again, I project these over onto the onto the other side as well. It's just saves time and it's easy. I mean, we're now up to 24 minutes into the video, so you are the more than welcome to skip ahead to parts if you want. I did a little mistake there. Now normally the class 150 is a two car train. With this, this is going to be, this is obviously going to be three car train, so it's going to be made out to be like a three car train as well. Right, so we put that circle there, look at a little bit Bigger, the place. God, I've got pins and needles at me like now. From sitting funny. Uh, edit. Right, this is now where I need to get the blue colour. Which is. God, pins and needles at me. 
Oh, God. I don't have sit funny sometimes. <laughs> Which is 204. S is 69. V is 100. And the, other, and the rest of it is 69. That's for the blue. Confirm. E place. Link to back to edit. P options. Projection. Project it onto the side. Confirm. E place. And then we go to text. We find the letter U. The reason why I use U is because it's more like the northern N. So I'm going to flip it around in a second so it's as an N. As an N. Obviously, now rotate it around, and obviously, then I will scale it back down again. It means like the, looks like the, 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 if I go back from a distance, it looks like it's a skull um, round about here. I think it's the weathering on the train. And then bring it down and move it in. Projection settings. And then we go copy, bring it down, and move, edit, bring that one over to there. Actually, I can move, I need to move that, the northern one, this first one over a little bit more, it's in the incorrect place. Let me move that a little bit smaller. Place that one there. I'm just going to move this one. I'm just going to group it actually. Yep, that one moves to there. Now I just need to copy the U. Move it down and move edit. I need to move that there. I know I haven't done the colour yet, which I'll be doing that shortly. Place that down there. Now I'll just need to edit change the colour because this is the purple one. I just need to go and find my other, that's actually my other pink colour. So we're at 100, 100 there, and we just need to go find 327. There we go, 327, confirm, E place, and then now, again, same again, just copy, bring it down to there, and then again, see again. Bring that one down to there and move. Group them. Edit. Move it across and then obviously scale it down. Because this is obviously the this is the orange one. Make it a little bit bigger. That size. And then obviously yeah, it's projecting through the other side. E place, then also you need to ungroup it, so I need to change the colour. Change colour. And this one is H42. 100, 100. Confirm. E place. Right, there we go. Now, this is where the fun begins, because now what I'm going to do is group everything up what I can so the roof can't be grouped just just makes it easier when transferring over onto the other side so you can't group that long got layers just makes everything a lot easier group so what we do now is be a couple of other cars this car 
Go back to layers again. If you come to other cars, DMSOB, saving along the way. Layers again. V, come to other cars, D DMSOB, this car. Layers, then we then move, this is when we then move this one. Come to other cars, DMSOB, this car. And we've got to layers again, we use, then we just go V again. This car. And again, three copies of the cards, DMSOB. And then remove this one. This car. Northern logo, three copies of the cards. Something slightly gone wrong there. But I will rectify that, that's not a problem. And then three copies of the cards. DMSOB, this car, done, that's complete. Just need to, there we go. So when I'd ungrouped it, it brought it back um, properly. So there you go, that's how quickly you can do the back section of the of the train. I must need to rectify an issue there as well, which obviously I will do on the front and then bring it over. So, what to do is I need to go to Layers, Shape, actually P options, change side, left hand side, and this is going to be more like a grey colour. It's funny, it's going on the back part of the train. Options need to project it onto the other side again. There we go, we've got a grey colour there. Just press T to bring it up to the line, and then also I'm going to bring it back down to the down of the line. As you can see, it's now projected on the other side as well, it's on both sides. E place, right, and then we go up V, up to the cars. This car, V this car. The only side it's not copied onto is the, that side there, which I'll do on the PTSO now layers, copy, edit, so you literally drag it all the way down the train to the, obviously to the other side of the train. Because I've quite literally nearly finished this now. I know it's been a fairly long video of me talking, but this is the way I make my my liver is in in game. Then we just put. This round to that. God, it's not going any further than that. I think we just have to rescale it. There we go. Right, that's now been rescaled. Press E. I'm gonna have to um, sort of change that slightly. But it's okay. I can bring it. I can bring it down and then just put white over that. Edit. I have a slight problem with that. I'm just going to put some white underneath there. I'm going to put some grey underneath there, then white on top of the on top of the grey. 
Ah, oh, this is a bit, it's a little bit complex. Complex, it's a bit more complex than the other one. Um, right, so, I just want the Northern Rail logo. Ah, that did go discombobulated as well. If you copy to PTSO, this car, copy, edit, P options, change side, left hand side, confirm, done, E place. Save. Right, P DMS or uh, layers starts the door. V copy to this car. And edit it. Not much minute. E place. C edit. Bring that one down to the other side. Place there. So we have to do a little bit of fixing with that. E. It seems like this section of the train is slightly bigger. section is oh shit that needs to be that needs to be great this bit is obviously going to be slightly a little bit more complicated to do because I don't really want anything showing like that so I'm just going to scale this all the way down Bring it back down again. Then I want to shear it like that. If I can shear it, there we go. Take that onto the side, confirm, E place, copy, edit. So all I need to do now is shear it. Oh, that's rotating it. Edit it. Um, I need to, must have done it. I need to then shear it the other way. So it hasn't been as hard as what I thought it was going to be. Obviously then shear it that way. You place. And then obviously I'm just going to copy, edit. And I'm just going to move it into the middle. Place and there you have it. A completed Northern Rail class 314. So thanks for watching, guys. I'm now going to save this. Thank you for watching, guys. Again, I know it's been a bit long, but here we have it. You now know how to make the Northern Rail livery in Train Sim World 2. Thanks for watching.